find out the transfer function of a system using the signal flow graph. So let's see the problem. So this is the signal flow graph of the system and for this signal flow graph we have to find out the transfer function that is the ratio of C by R using the Mason's gain formula. So our first step is We have to find out the forward parts of the system. Now forward path is the path which starts from the source node and terminates at the sink node. And along that path, no, none of the uh, node, it is traversed twice. So here, let's start. We have R, then this is we can say this is x1, this is x2, this is x3, sorry this is x3 and this is x4. So our first forward path will be h1, h2, h3 and it is terminating at the output node. So this is h1, h2 and h3. Another forward path will be h4 okay so this is our second forward path we can let it is equal to p1 this is p2 second forward path now is there any other forward path we have h1 and here also arrow is in another direction here also arrow it is in another direction so we have two forward paths p1 and p2 as h1 h2 h3 and h4 now for these forward paths let's find out del 1 and del 2 that is the graph determinant is there any loop which is not touching this forward path p1 first we have find out the loops we have this as was first loop this is our second loop starting from x2 and terminating at x2 starting from x3 and terminating at x3 then we have x2 x3 and x4 and again x2 so this is our loop number 3 then we have h1 h2 h3 and this no we have 3 and another is there any loop we have Yes, we have this H3 and H5. This is our loop number 4. So we have 4 loops. Let put it them as step number 2. Step number 2, we have find out the loops and we have got 4 loops L1, L2, L3 and L4. L1 is H7, L2 is H6, L3 is H2, H3 and H8. And L4 is H3, H5. So is there any loop in from these four loops which is not touching the forward path H1, H2, H3? H1, H2, H3. All these four loops are touching this forward path. So we have del1 as 1. Now del2 that is the second forward path. It is H4. 
that is this so is there any loops which are not touching it yes we have one minus this h7 and h6 h7 plus h6 and third loop is touching fourth loop is also touching this x4 node so we have two loops which are not touching this forward so we have solved step 1, step 2. Now our step 3 is to find out is there any loops which are forming the pair of non-touching loops. Is there any pair? First start with this first loop H7. H7 loop this loop second and do fourth they are not touching this h7 okay so first pair will be h7 and h6 and second pair will be h7 and h3 and h5 that is loop number one and loop number two they are forming a pair and loop number one and loop number four now this loop 3 it is touching all the other three loops second loop it is also touching we have already formed its pair with one and it is touching it is not touching this third loop is, is it touching yes it is touching fourth it is also touching all the loops so we have only these two loops which are forming the pair of non-touching loops so putting the values we have l1 as h7 and l2 as h6 and we have again h7 and we have h3 h5 so these are the pairs of the non-touching loops now in step number four Put the values of all these variables in the Mason's gain formula which is given by T equals to summation K equals to 1 to K PK del K divided by del. Here we are having two forward paths so K will be 1 and 2 so the formula becomes P1 del 1 plus P2 del 2 divided by del. So let put the value of P1 and del1. We have P equals to P1 is H1, H2, H3. Del1 was 1 plus P2 was H4 and del2 was 1 minus H7 minus H6. And del it is 1 minus sum of all the uh, gain of all the loops so all loops were having the gain h7 plus h6 plus we were having h2 h3 h8 plus h3 h5 then plus the sum of the gains of all the pair of non-touching loops so we have h7 x6 plus h7 h3 h5 So this is our overall transfer function that is the ratio of C by R and let's solve it we will get So this is our overall transfer function of the system and it is the solution to our question. I hope you have clearly understood the problem.